Welcome to Northern Michigan. And today, we're gonna to take you on an adventure to Mackinac Island. If you're like us, we didn't really know much about this area but it's in the northern part of Michigan where it connects with the Upper Peninsula. And Mackinac Island is known as a jewel of this area. But first things first, so you don't sound like you're from out of town, it's Mackinac, even though it's spelled like Mackinac. We're moving pretty quick. So the ferry ride is typically about 16 minutes, but today we took a ferry that actually takes you past the Mackinac Bridge to check that out too. That makes it 25. This is Mackinac Bridge, which connects the upper and lower peninsulas of Michigan. It's five miles long and is currently the fifth longest suspension bridge in the world. It's quite a sight to behold, not to mention driving an RV over. It's about 200 feet above the water, so I was pretty happy Daniel drove this one. We just made it to the island, but first things first, we're gonna go get some coffee. So we went to the coffee shop, got some coffee, and walked down by the water. And now we're perched on a rock here, enjoying a beautiful view of the water. Not a bad place to grab breakfast, huh? They have a jet boat option to get over to the island, which you can sort of see off in the distance here. It's got this big old rooster tail coming out of the back of it. Looks like it's going really fast. Well, we're about to go do something super cool. Apparently one of the things you can do here on Mackinac Island is you can rent your very own horse and buggy because one of the things that they don't have here is automobiles outside of like emergency vehicles. So to get around the island, it's either by horse or by bike. And no, obviously we have never driven a horse and buggy. So that's why we're gonna do it. Can you believe they're gonna give us a horse and buggy? Obviously they don't watch our YouTube channel and see how much they spend on. <sighs> They've given us a horse and carriage. Probably ever even been on a horse. So once, twice maybe. So the fact that you can get a horse and carriage without any experience. It's kind of crazy. So our horse's name is Ace. They're getting him out of the stable right now, but they gave us a map. So. We've got this highlighted section that we're going to ride around and hopefully it goes moving. I'm gonna take my horse to the Old Town Road. At this point, you probably established that I am a pro at horse and carriage, um, but the reality is, this is my first time. If you've never rented a horse and carriage, you definitely need to do this here. This is so much fun. <laughs> our horse, our horse has some gas issues. He just farted in our face. He just pooted. Horse farts are not nice. So now that he's properly hydrated, we're back on the trail. Oh, ooh, apparently water makes him gassy. Oh boy, that is not good. <laughs> Very similar to an RV, you take all your turns wide. 
Yeah, no, I gotcha. Oh boy, I gotcha. Okay, it's cool, I gotcha. You get to drop it like it's hot. Dropping it like it's hot. Okay. Yeah, but well, another little temporary delay. Ace had to, he had to go poo. Why does it always end up being a poo conversation? I know, I know, I know. You're watching this and you're probably thinking to yourself, man, that guy is a horse and carriage professional. But the reality is, yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah! <laughs> oh, dang, okay, the gig's up. This is actually my very first time, but I highly recommend that you do this when you come to Mackinac Island. <laughs> While Dee tries to get our horse to obey, I'll fill you in on where we're passing. This is Mackinac Fort which was founded during the American Revolution by the British. From there, it has a bloody history of bouncing back and forth between the Americans and the British. Today, it's a state park and a living history museum. We didn't have time to visit, but it's just another great reason to come back soon. Bit of a steep hill with a horse and carriage, so you gotta take it a little bit slow. He's got a little hitch in the skiddy up. I think he knows where he's going. We're about a half a block away from his home, and he is ready to get rid of us. They also have options where you can go on a guided tour and get a historical insight into Mackinac Island, but that was really fun. There are tons of great restaurant options on the island. Everything from casual sports bar to high-end dining. We're grabbing a quick bite of lunch and then we're going to find a tandem bike. Just for the record, this is wicked harder than it looks. We just passed a couple that they said that this isn't actually a tandem bike, it's a divorce machine. <laughs> Ran into a little bit of a roadblock, like literally a roadblock, but we'll figure this out. Okay, we're trying to walk the bike around. It's not easy. It's not. It's like the, the tandem bike waddle. Ready? Yep. Okay, so tandem up a hill. Shockingly, we're lost. So. Yeah. Fingers crossed we're able to find what we're looking for. Yeah. And also, like, tandem bike with one gear up a hill. Difficult. A little bit of a challenge, but you know, be prepared. We got this. Let's do it. Let's yeah, let's do this. There we go. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the bike to go up the hill. I feel like you control the balance on this thing. That feels dangerous. Oh, this is totally dangerous. Do not recommend. I'd recommend keeping both arms, both hands. Oh, crap. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so we took a right and what we believe to be the correct path. But there's a hill here, and it is difficult to put it into perspective, but this is a monster hill. It'll be difficult with a 10-speed bike, but with a single-speed tandem, that's a no-go. So we're gonna walk it up the hill. I really don't even wanna walk up this hill. All right. I got your back, keep going. You're doing really good. I'm back here holding my own. You just keep working. Uh, kind of sweaty. We made the, what, you think mile bike ride up to Arch Rock?
I mean, we're certainly not in bad shape, but you know, these hills, they're a little challenging on a, we call seeing it on delirious this point. On a tandem bike. On a tandem bike. It's like double the suffering. So this behind me is the Grand Hotel, and as you can tell, we're not exactly dressed for post 6 p.m. attire, but what we're wearing is fine for what we're about to show you. Quite a spread. <laughs> it's a lot of awesomeness there. Tea and champagne? Does it get better than that? And because I'm fancy? Pinky out. <sighs> so bougie. This is totally not, not us, but we're having so much fun. <laughs> Grand Hotel is famous for a myriad of reasons. It's on the registry as a national landmark. Tons of presidents and other famous people have come to stay here. It's where the movie Somewhere in Time was shot with Jane Seymour and Christopher Reeve. And not only that, but where I'm walking right now is renowned for being the longest porch in the US. Maybe even the world? The butterflies here are so magical. It's time to head back to the Airstream because since it's after season, which is any time past Labor Day, the ferries head back at 6 p.m. But insider's tip, we stayed on the St. Ignace side because apparently it's not as busy as Mackinac City. And, as you can see, the line for Mackinac City ferries is way longer than ours. Winning. Getting to the ferry early means that you get to sit on top and you got better views. I'm a little sad that we only planned for one day in Mackinac Island. We missed the fudge because we were too full on sugar from afternoon tea. We didn't get to tour the fort. We missed the butterfly museum. There's like a hundred reasons we're gonna have to come back. We'll definitely plan to stay on the island too because, well, it just seems like fun. They even had live music tonight that we missed because we had to get back. But you know what we did get to do? Wander local. And as you know, it's good for the salt. <laughs> 